for a medical emergency? Yes. My, my dad is beating up my mom. Your dad is beating up your mom? Yes. Okay, hon, stay on the phone with me, okay? Okay. Okay. Standing emergency. Uh, my mom and dad are having a Oh, are you kidding me? Stop it! Get the police, please. Okay, we're going to be there. Oh, my God! What's the matter? Stop it! Stop it! Hello? We got married, and this is when life really became a nightmare for me. His temper ranged from, from calling me horrible names, to throwing and breaking things to frighten me, to hitting me with things, to slamming me against the wall or the car or whatever was nearby. There are many common myths surrounding domestic violence. For example, people think that a batterer might also be an alcoholic or a philanderer or mentally ill. While this might be true in some instances, domestic violence goes way beyond these explanations. Still, it was very hard for me to consider divorce, though, even though he treated me horribly basically from the beginning. I didn't want to give up. I really wanted to make it work. I got along with everyone. Why couldn't I make the marriage work? She doesn't quite know what to call it exactly, so we can sort of validate her position and say, actually, you don't deserve to go through what you've been going through. And um, it is actually, there's a name for it, it is domestic violence. Abuse here, 11,000 miles away from the home countries, could be directed by the in-laws back in the home countries. So it's been a very interesting conundrum, but I think that after 20 years, we have made a difference in the community's attitude, uh, in their belief that there is a problem, in their belief now that there is no shame in discussing problems outside and getting help on a timely manner. When these strong women uh, recognize that there are, they're not isolated, they're not alone doing this, there are other women out there, like that, then they find the strength, they find the collective strength to go out there and say, I've been through this, I know what this experience was about, and no one else should have to go through what I've been through. So we provide for them that support system where when they're ready to share their story, there's a place for them to do that. We were not looking at it as just only a shelter. We were looking at the development of the women that they will be supported and they will have a voice. They will work and they will be independent and they will raise their children in an independent way. When women are not violated and children are not violated, not only our home is peaceful, our community flourishes. And I think we have to recognize that as a community and do something about it. She was one of our first shelter client with her mom. They are doing well. She's in school. They went through life's triumph and tribulations, but they survived. And she wants to come back and help us. And she is going to volunteer. 